In this video, I'm gonna show you Corsair's new custom lab where you can customize Corsair products to match your setup. And we'll also take a look at a few custom samples. So what we're looking at here is the Corsair Custom Lab webpage where you're gonna be able to customize your products. And what we're looking at here is an early version. There will be more products implemented into this and more custom designs. And maybe it'll change later on down the road. But taking a look at what we have right now, as you see, these are the products they currently have: the K65 Plus wireless, M75 wireless, and then a few other mouse pads, and then some options you can choose. Now you can come over here and just customize each product as we'll go through here, or you can just select, hey, I like the black and yellow one, bam, or I like the techni version, and you can select that, right? But let's go into this and we're gonna actually go through this together, kicking it off with the keyboard here. So loading it up, as you see, you can pick your frame black or white, and let's just go on through and customize this together. And by the way, you can also get top view, side view, so you can see they actually change everything even with the RGB button over there. So let's get back to the top view. We're gonna hit our tab over here, and then you got all these other options you can choose from. That looks pretty darn cool. Okay, that looks really neat. Even though I'm not a pink kind of guy, that's pretty awesome. Let's get over here to some techni options. You know, I think I like this. Holy smokes, that is super cool. I like how the white font, is up on uh, the other keys up there, your F row and stuff, and then it's red. Super cool. We're going to keep it with that. Coming over here, you got your switches. Now, again, a lot of this will probably be updated where they got more switch options, but right now you got the uh, reds, blues, and silvers. Coming over here, a wrist rest if you want it or not. Select over here, and there you go. There is our keyboard. So now let's go and take a look at the custom sample we got sent over, the K65 Plus Wireless. As you see down here, it is a custom labs, and you kind of got that reflective uh, coating on the top of the print up there. Super cool. So let's go and pop this open here so you get your keycap and switch puller because, yes, the K65 Plus Wireless is 5-pin hot swap, so you can use any switch that you have as well. You get your cable, which we have the black option over here. Let's go on and get to the goods. Let's get to the keyboard, push that aside, and let's take a look at this. So looking at the keycaps, we got the Celestial, I believe it's called. And help me out down in the comments. What is this uh, layout of keycap? Not the uh, SA, am I think? Oh, wow, Whew. it just sounds so good. But I believe this is, what do they call that? SA keycaps, but just take a look at that design. Absolutely gorgeous but this is where i hope they implement more because i think the case of this if it could have been navy blue or maybe that light blue oh man it would have been so stinking cool maybe some knob customization as well but just looking at those keycaps right there with that gold font absolutely gorgeous and wow this board just sounds amazing now the other thing that you can do here is expand your bundle so right over here we're going to click on this and it's going to give you options to add your mouse or mouse pad. So it's showing what we have right now. Now the cool thing is, so let's go on and select a mouse. So once you get it on here, you see you actually get a little discount once you create your bundle. Same over here on the keyboard. So both of them are discounted, which is pretty cool touch. Again, when you remove it, it goes back to the regular price. So coming back here to the mouse, now it's putting it on our desk. Let's go on and customize it. And you'll be able to go through some of the same options like we did on the keyboard. And as you see, you have all your different views here. So let's go ahead with, it's choosing our base, which will be the side. Let's just go red. Let's see what we can come up with here. See if our top, we come up with that. You know, let me see something here. How does this look? Well, we went, oh, that's pretty cool, actually. So we went with that. Let me go with the sides. I make the sides white. Oh, yeah, I like that. I like that. So we're going to stick with that. We'll go over here. Oh, so you can customize your buttons. So let's go with some red buttons. What do you think we should go with black buttons? I think red buttons give it some nice pizzazz. Then tab it over. And this is our scroll wheel. So you can either go light gray or black. We'll stick it with black. I wish I could do my scroll wheel red. So hopefully that's something implemented later on down the road as well. Tab it over. You can choose PTFE feet, which are included. And then if you want included glass feet, it's an extra 15 bucks. So let's come on over here. And you can actually pick your cable. Do you want a black cable or a white cable? That, that's a pretty cool little touch. Now let's see what we created here. Oh man, that looks so good. That really looks sharp. 
Now let's take a look at the M75 wireless design lab from Corsair. As you see, we had that celestial design again. Let me go ahead and pop this mouse out of here, taking a look at it. I think I personally probably would a little bit more juicy with this, but it does look super cool. That design is awesome. Even though I'm not a blue person, that is super cool. Now, if you're curious about the coating, like again with the M75, it had that slight texture on the side. Coming up here to this design one, it is smooth so just if you're curious is this smooth i don't know if i mentioned any keycaps but the keycaps are still you got that pbt feel with the coating on it but the top of this mouse is smooth and then you got a little texture on the side looking on the bottom as you see we got the ptfe feet and then over here we have the black dongle black cable and then our buttons are black again i personally probably would have went a little bit more juicy with my design on the mouse but that pattern is super cool now if you're interested in the glass feet as you see here you get them in this little folder we'll pop these open you actually get some grips okay they're sticking there you get some grips for your side and one and two and then here are the glass feet now one thing i noticed with this compared to when we were designing it on the website is on the website it showed the middle glass foot but right here i just got the back and front with a little Corsair logo right there, which is super cool. So I'm not sure if that's something that'll be updated since this is an early sample. But again, online, it does show the middle glass foot. In my pack, I did not get a middle glass foot. Now let's go over here and we're gonna create a mouse pad. We're just gonna go with the large size. And then as you see, you also got a discount on the mouse pad as well. So let's customize that. And the options on a mouse pad are again, just your pattern, which man, that looks super cool. Let's look at some other ones here though. All these look super cool. I don't know. These, these look pretty awesome. Okay, that one's kind of simple. Let's see what this looks like. I don't know what it is, but I just love this pink one here. Super cool. But of course, we're going to stick with what we have. Does it give it, what's the side view? Okay, so just a different angle. You know, uh, I'm not too sure about this because you got stitching around here. I doubt the stitching is going to match their pattern. I, I don't know. We'll have to see. Well, once we pop open my sample, we'll see. But I believe that stitching will more than likely be black. I could be wrong. We'll look at our sample and see. We got the MM300 here. I believe this is the extra large, the desk mat. I haven't even popped this open yet. So let's go on and do this together here. But again, I'm really curious about the stitching. Is it actually going to be colored or just black? So what do we got here? Some paperwork, a thank you card, sliding that open. And then let's get the mouse pad slid open. Okay. So hold up, look at this. I was wrong. The pattern actually goes all the way down to the stitching. Okay, underneath the stitching is actually black if you can see it right there. Little Corsair logo up top. Again, this is the big one, but let's go to this side as well. And you can see all the way here on the pattern, all the way to the side, it is actually the pattern that you picked. Super cool. It's really tight stitching as well and pretty low to the mouse pad. So you got the pattern up there and then the stitching on the bottom is black. That is super cool. Prove me wrong. And now you can see we have everything in our cart. And again, the cool thing is once you add each different option, you get a discount. But even if you say you remove the mouse pad, you still get the discount up here on the keyboard and mouse. And my gosh, that is absolutely gorgeous. So as far as the Corsair Custom Labs that we're seeing right now, I personally think it is super cool being able to just customize and design a product. And again, it's quality. It doesn't feel like a chintzy custom thing. It's really awesome, you know, and the options to customize the products. And again, this is just the beginning. There will be more products and more customizable options down the road. And that excites me because again, we know Corsair recently purchased Drop and Drop is all about custom, right? So what kind of switches will be in here? Again, what kind of Corsair keyboards and down the road? And then as far as their mice, you know, customizable switches or, or what will it be? 8K, you get the 1K. You can really pick and buy your products that are going to suit you, not just that black one or that white one. I personally think this is super cool and I'm excited to see what it will be in the future as well. So let me know down in the comments what you think about the new Corsair Custom Labs and let me know what design or pattern you would have picked there. And I hope you enjoyed this video I and mean, it was a little bit helpful. If it was, please hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye now.